The hawthorn, quickthorn, or may, Crutegus monogyna, is a hardwood tree typically found growing in hedgerows, which can live for up to 300 years. Flowering in spring and folklore, hawthorn is associated with fertility. It's also bad luck to cut down a hawthorn tree. However, it's bad luck to bring the blossoms into, into the house, because it's said that Christ's crown of thorns was made from hawthorn. Some people find the scent a little unpleasant. It contains a chemical known as trimethylamine, which is given off when meat starts to, to decompose. The species has a long history as a wild food. The young leaves have a nutty flavour and has been known as poor man's bread and butter or bread, butter and cheese and often eaten within a sandwich. The seeds can also be eaten and the seeds can be the source of jellies and wines and also even ketchup. Roughly once every five years, when the conditions are just right, Hawthorne has a spectacular bloom. And at this time, the honeybees produce a dark amber Hawthorne honey. Although not a substantial tree, the wood burns very well. It's used quite a bit in carpentry, particularly for carving. It was also used in boat building. At one time, it was in great demand for making snuff boxes. There are several famous thorn trees, such as the Glastonbury thorn, said to have grown from the staff of Joseph of Arimathea. There's also the bickering bush that used to grow near Kilmarnock. William Wallace was said to have been fishing peacefully beside the river when some English troops demanded his entire catch. An argument developed, and he eventually killed two of the soldiers, and the rest ran off. This tree, when it died, was cut down and made into souvenirs. A descendant of Robert Burns's Tristing Thorn, mentioned in the poem The Soldier's Return, still grows in Ayrshire near the Water of Coil. This is well looked after by local Robert Burns clubs. One unexplained phenomenon is that some of the hawthorns aren't white. Often they may be pink or even darkening with age to form a red colour. The pollinating insects, which are the bees and hoverflies, can't see in the red spectrum, so both red and white to them is invisible. They can, however, see in ultraviolet, and they can see the nectar guides on the petals that lead them down into the flower. Another species, the Midland Hawthorn, Crutegus lithigata, shows the same variation in colour, and in this case some of the dark red colours have been selected and used for growing in gardens. <laughs>